Hi, Future Eternal Flame here. So, this is actually just from my live stream, but this was way too fun not to turn into an actual clip. If you want to see more fun clips like this, be sure to subscribe because we have a lot more live streams on the way. And yeah, anyways, into the clip. But still, Kashimo has truly disappeared from the world. You see, here's my headcanon until we see Kashimo again. Kashimo went the wrong direction. Sup, Grape? I think Kashimo legit went the wrong direction because he has no idea how the modern era is shaped and where any locations are. So he just knows they're in Shibuya, but he's just like, where is Shibuya? I will search all of Japan until I find Sukuna. And he's just like searching, going from like colony to colony, city to city right now. Who's no bar? <laughs> Just Kashimo is like lost trying to find where they are. Nobaru's finished. I really don't want Nobaru to come back if I'm going to be completely honest. Purely because it just, it ruins a lot of the impact of Nobaru's death, in my own opinion. But I know other people have different opinions on that, so yeah. Because there's some people who want Nobaru's back. <laughs> he just, yeah, Kashimo became the Zoro of JJK. <laughs> Kashimo is just has no idea where Shibuya is, so he's just searching. He would have no clue. He's from 300 years ago. Why? He's like from 400 years ago. And I'm just saying, I'm not expecting his vessel to know either. I think his vessel is some random scrub with no clue of the map. I think there's some science nerd because that would explain why Kashimo was able to create chlorine gas. But I expect him to be some science nerd who has like an inside all the time and just never cared enough to learn about the outside world and Google Maps. Which <laughs> Kashimo is just like, not really unlucky and lucky because he just learned about electrolysis for that. Because I refuse to believe Kashimo knew about electrolysis back in his era. Because, like, the man is from, like, 300, 400 years ago. Who would have taught him this word? Who would have taught him how to separate the water particles to make chlorine gas? Because I don't, like, most people in this modern era don't even know that's a thing, let alone 300 to 400 years ago, where TVs didn't even exist, where cars didn't even exist, yet Kashimo just knew how to do that? Nah, not Kashimo using GPS to find Sakuna. <laughs> Google, Kashimo was using Apple Maps. That's why he failed. He should have used... <laughs> Kashimo got a shut-in vessel. Exactly. Exactly. Kashimo got a shut-in vessel. Do you think Miwa's got something for her in the future? Yes, I think Miwa is going to be involved with the Kenjaku fight because Miwa has beef with Kenjaku. You know, I'm really afraid where I put out my video about how Kenjaku's gonna have a 3v1 again. And I think one of them are gonna get one shot by Ken, like Sakuna next chapter as random fodder because that's how I cursed it Ryu as well. So if that happens, let my Kashi Goat cook. Exactly. Kashi Goat is gonna cook, but I just think he is lost right now. I legit think he is just lost trying to find his way. The fool decided to go off on his own in a new modern era where he has no clue where anything is. So Kashimo just being lost would make a lot of sense. <laughs> Kashi Goat is going to cook. I'm so excited to see his technique. I really doubt he got off screen because that would be such a waste of a character. Like that was like the main hype around Kashimo that Kashimo wanted to fight Sukuna. I don't think he's going to show up this chapter. I think he's going to show up in the future. How many people think... How many people you think Gage are gonna kill off this last stretch of JJK? Um, uh, a good chunk of the cast. I don't currently have names in mind. I think Choso is going to live purely because if they were going to kill Choso off at any point, it would be during the Kenjaku fight, and they didn't. Kashimo watching Meimei's stream. Kashimo is a stream leak. Kashimo's using Meimei's stream to find him. He's in the wrong city completely. So he's just using like the Meimei's stream. He's like, okay, those are the surroundings. I was in the wrong direction. Thankfully, Meimei is live streaming the exact coordinates. Time to fly. He starts running there. He's been carrying Panda around too because he likes carrying Panda. Nah, we saw Panda. But yeah, he just starts running there to try and find Sukuna. It's like... I have to get there on time. I have to be able to fight Sukuna. I did not agree to Kenjaku's deal, to this random old man's deal to not get my fight. Maybe he just felt Gojo and Sukuna's cursed energies and broke out a reality check. But there's literally no excuse for him to not be around. I'm just saying, the best excuse is saying he got lost, because it would make a lot of sense. He went off on his own and suffered the consequences, because he has no clue where they're even fighting. He doesn't know any of this. 
He shouldn't know where Sukuna is, but now he has to suffer because he decided, I'm going to fight Sukuna, I am done with waiting. And like a fool, he ended up getting lost, getting the Zoro treatment. He's not even in Shibuya right now. He's in... he's in Sendai. <laughs> Kashima following the stream, but he doesn't realize there's a 10 minute delay. <laughs> Kashimo's just like, okay. Okay, I know where they are. I'm going for their now. Wait, why are they not there anymore? Why are they in a different city? Why is it this hard to find them? <laughs> Kashimo just trying his best to find them and only to fail myster like hysterically. And just trying so bad and just being so frustrated. I just want one chapter dedicated, like if I'm right, dedicated to Kashimo searching. Or, like, I just want it as a meme, even. Just dedicated to Kashimo searching through all of the cities, trying to find the location they were supposed to fight at. He's so, like, he brought, like, I can imagine he arrived at Shibuya, like, a day late, and, like, everything has happened, the final battle has already happened, and just Kashimo just realizes he missed his one chance to die, so instead he chooses to fight Gojo, because Gojo beat Sakuna, but not, and then he realizes Gojo's also dead. <laughs> Kashima for real about the solo Gojo and Sukuna 2v1, that's my goat. <laughs> you see, first Kayo, he needs to find where they are, because he's in a different city. I'm calling it right now. Imagine Kashima's gonna no diff Sukuna where he's at 1% HP, barely won against Gojo, and he's gonna be disappointed <laughs> that Sukuna was weak. He's just like, wow, Sukuna got hyped up for no reason. All jokes aside, he might be waiting to see who is the strongest between the two and then fight them. I can honestly see that. Like, he just wait. Like, I can also see that's where he pulls out RCT. Then, then all three team up to take out Hikari, but they still lose. <laughs> I died for this meme actually happening. <laughs> Honestly, say, like, I both do and don't want this to happen. I'd be happy either way if it just shows Kashimo searching from city to city. Like, yeah, it'd be a waste of Kashimo's character, but for the memes, it would be beautiful. It would be amazing if we just get Kashimo searching from place to place, trying to find Sukuna, only to fail because he doesn't know- He's just in America right now. He accidentally went to the wrong country. Hold on, is there- Kashimo short circuits his phone when he tries to charge it! Kashimo tried to use his cursed energy chain to charge his phone, but he ended up accidentally breaking his phone. <laughs> oh, I can see that. Why can I see that happening so well? He is just like- he blames the company to you, he blames it on Apple when it was actually his fault this time. You see, Apple makes crappy phones, but it wasn't actually even Apple's fault. Apple can't be blamed for this. <laughs> Kashima just went to the wrong location and he accidentally short-circuited his phone So he had to go to like the Apple store buy a new phone get it mailed to him and during all of this time Gojo versus Sakuna have been happening <laughs> Why did I just create a bunch of lore and this explanation for how Kashima just is missing from the action It's just because he's in a different country. <laughs> he's in a different location <laughs> Just let me- it's cooked for a second. Okay, okay, anyways, moving on, moving on. What about, like, who do you guys think is going to die? To be honest, you're probably able to sense Sakuna and Gojo's fight from the US. That is true, but I just imagine Kashimo accidentally went to the US, like, because he thinks Shibuya is there for some reason. Hakari trolled him. Hakari told him the wrong country. He's just- <laughs> Kashimo's gonna get one shot by the Uber app. <laughs> Nah, here's the thing, he's gonna put in the wrong address, cause he's just gonna have no idea- No, Kashima's not even gonna know how to use a phone. <laughs> he's just gonna like, what is this monstro- What is this technological device? This didn't exist in my era. Why is this so difficult? Kashima had like, ran the ones with Hikari. He killed so many people, yet he doesn't know how to use a phone. <laughs> By the time customer service helps fix his phone, the Sakuna versus Gojo fight is already finished. <laughs> Kashimo's gonna act, get accidentally caught in their domain clash and just die before even encounter them. Nah, Kashimo's gonna try pulling out have Hollow Wicker Basket before getting info dot bumped by Gojo and just die. <laughs> and like that, Kashimo has been wasted, has been killed, just absolute memed on and defeated. This important villain that we expected so much of, or not villain, just antagonist who we expected so much because they were just like, I want to run the smoke with Sakuna. And then just die from a domain clash. They were an actual side effect from the domain. 
Sakuna accidentally cleaved him while doing their domain clash, and they're just like, oh, I accident that was an accident. Kenjaku totally trolling Kashimo on the <laughs> He like, Kashimo like goes to Kenjaku and texts him, Hey Kenjaku, where is Sakuna? And he figured <laughs> Hakari just fought, bro, ain't no way dude's this strong without using a CT. We're better off sending this man as far away as possible. Exactly. <laughs> Kenjaku sent bro to one. <laughs> Kenjaku sent him to a different anime. No, 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 no. Kenjaku just pulled up some Dragon Ball and it's just like, this guy's name is Goku. He's a real sorcerer. You should go fight him. He's in America, I think, right now. Go. <laughs> Kashima will find the One Piece first. <laughs> He's gonna find the One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> Kashimo, this didn't exist in my era. Back in my day. <laughs> Back in my day, I, we had to do things the old-fashioned way. We had to walk from place to place in order to get to people. We had to walk in order to fight everyone. Now you all have these fancy cars, these fancy horses. <laughs> Kashimo. <laughs> See, that's what happened with Kashimo, really. But yeah, no, who do you guys think is going to die by the end of Jujutsu Kaisen? I'm kind of curious about that. Like, because I think there are going to be a few deaths. I just don't see Choso dying at this point. Because if they were going to kill Choso, they'd do so earlier. He might die trying to protect Yuji, but at this point, I think he's going to live because of the entire be reborn as a human type thing from Yuki. Who can I, who else do I see dying? I think Yuta is going to die. I just genuinely think Yuta is going to die at the end fighting against Kenjaku. Maki might die, but I'm not fully sure about that. Hakari is also in a similar position. Because I can't see Hakari living, but I also can't see Hakari dying. Fancy horses! <laughs> He's got- Kashimo just view- Kashimo and Anel having the same hair color. Kashimo just got lost and went to One Piece and became Anel. <laughs> Kashimo's now in and out. Kashimo's now in no. He's now is in the One Piece and he's searching for the One Piece. <laughs> Never mind, I'm done. <laughs> nah, Kashimo is just. Kashimo dyed his hair. Kashimo dyed his hair. He found out about hair dye. <laughs> he ended up going to One Piece. Just while Sakuna vs. Gojo was going on, Kashimo was just in One Piece lost. And it's just ser him searching around, asking everyone he can after beating them up, where is Sakuna? Only for him to get beaten up because Kashimo's kind of fodder in One Piece, I'm being honest with you. Until he goes on a training arc in One Piece. Okay. Anyways, yeah, who do you guys think is gonna die in Jutsu so. Imagine they gave Kashimo the wrong date for the fight. Kashimo's just asleep! Kashimo's asleep and then becomes an isekai protagonist. <laughs> He just becomes- Kashimo's Ka Kashimo just goes to Konosuba. <laughs> he fights against Kazuma and beats Kazuma up. <laughs> and then he takes Megamine with him. <laughs> Yuta death will serve him as he joins his future wife. Exactly. Yuta's gonna die joining his future wife. 